What's up guys, Jeff here, and today we got a brand new video for you. And first things first, I wanna start off with apologizing for missing last week's video. Uh, some of you reached out to me, let me know how important the Mad Hatter Reef weekly videos are to you. And I appreciate that, but obviously, uh, there's a lot going on here at the shop and just didn't have the time to put a video together. I probably should have made one more top 10 video. But anyways, um, I got kind of a big announcement that I want to share with you guys. I'm in the back room right now. It's kind of a mess back here. I'll show you how much of a mess it is here in a second. Um, but I'm going to be challenging myself for the month of May. And that challenge is kind of the idea behind, or one of the ideas behind starting this store. And that is creating a daily video for you guys. Uh, I want to challenge myself with this, see if I can actually do it. I know of at least two days that are probably going to be pretty hard for me to do this, but for the most part, I want to give it a shot, try it out, see if I can actually do this for you guys and uh, for myself as well, because I want to be able to look back at this. I'm going to make this an entire playlist. Uh, it's also kind of an experiment on the, the YouTube algal rhythms, algorithms algorithms oh went a little Arnold there <laughs> the to try to see what because um, there's not many reef keepers or reef aquarium or aquarium hobbyists that are doing daily videos at least to my knowledge uh, and I want to see what happens with that on you know the analytical side of things um, so what we're gonna be doing for the month of May is putting out a video every single day. At least I'm gonna to try to put out a video every single day. And it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, see if I can actually do it. Um, some of the content's probably gonna be good, some of the content's probably gonna be not so good. There's not gonna be a whole lot of editing that goes on. Not that there ever was with any of my videos, there just always was a lot of jump cuts. Besides that, for the most part, um, it's usually pretty, pretty fluid. But there's gonna be a lot going on here over the next 30, 31 days, however many days there are in May. And I wanna capture all of it and I wanna share it with you guys and kind of document it for myself as well. So someday I can come back and look at this and see, yep, that's where it all started. Uh, so a lot of the work that we're gonna be doing in the next 30 days is gonna be very applicable to aquarium keeping. And that's really what this channel is all about. And I wanna share that with you guys. So some of the topics that we talk about or at least start out with may be of interest and some of them might be little gems hidden throughout the video so uh, that's what we're going to do in the next 30 days or 31 days I think it's 31 days in May all right so I promised you guys that I'd show you my messy messy back room this is the back room to the shop it looks like absolute garbage right now and I am very aware of that and we're gonna work on that this is probably the not so important piece of the store this is really just gonna be for my eyes and I guess your guys' eyes as well. Uh, but I am slowly but surely moving in. Uh, these are all the aquarium type items, minus a few of them, uh, that I have collected and have hoarded at my house for the last couple of years. Uh, some of them not so much uh, aquarium related, but uh, other aspects of the hobby in which I keep. Um, also got some tools back here right now. Uh, my buddy has got some of his stuff here too. He's gonna be helping me out. Uh, the saw table I do not have, or at least I don't have a nice one like that. And uh, that's made some of the things that I've been working on in the front of the shop a little bit easier. Uh, went through, changed out all the lights in the shop. Uh, that was a little bit of a task. I am also a little bit of an electrician if you didn't know that uh, I'm not but I will cut wires and tape things together I'm not scared of that at all uh, just don't tell the insurance company uh, but I uh, went through changed all the bulbs ended up swapping out some of the ballast in the lights as well uh, which some of them look like they're the OG ballast in the shop and uh, yeah so you can kind of see there some of those bulbs are pretty used up man this has been expensive like everything when you think about 
how much money I've put into this place already and I still don't have any product or any uh, livestock in here. Yeah, but that's going to be changing here pretty quickly, hopefully in the next, uh, I'd say, 12 days. Kind of a makeshift tool shed thing going on here. Ended up buying that on the face space uh, marketplace, which was a really interesting um, story. The gentleman that I bought this t-shirt stand from, which I'm going to try to paint that, but um, he has like a whole thing that he does out of his shop in his, his backyard. And he's a local guy, which I like supporting uh, local folks. Um, he actually ended up doing the signs for my shop as well. So I bought this off from, I ended up hanging out at his shop for like an hour. Uh, he showed me all the different things that he, he does. And there's some pretty interesting things that uh, he works on that I'm going to be incorporating into the shop. But the first order of business was the uh, vinyl lettering that I put on the front of the store as well on the back door. And uh, yeah, so this right here, um, cardboard, obviously, I did a little bit of spray painting. Wasn't trying to screw up the flooring uh, too, too much. Uh, that, if you guys, actually, you guys don't even know about that. So this stuff right here, I know looks pretty junky. Um, this will, we'll talk about this more in future videos, but that right there was the padding that I used for the water table. I wanted something that was thin. I wanted something that was black because uh, I didn't want to paint the bottom of the tank. I found this stuff on, I don't remember what the, exactly what the website was, but it's a website that supplies um, casinos with the things that they need to build a casino. And that's actually the foam that they use um, on the uh, card tables and that stuff is amazing for underneath your tanks definitely way better than anything uh, that I have ever used in the past um, very very awesome stuff and we got our water tanks bought these new this is how they came kind of disappointed uh, I'm not gonna name names of vendors or anything like that but these are 200, 225 gallon tanks and they came like I did some dirt there obviously you know it's gonna clean up a little bit I've been waiting for a good rainstorm to get out there and uh, scrub these but they did come a little jacked up um, I originally had bought the black tanks realized that black tanks I wouldn't be able to see what the water level is in them uh, but I think I'm going to end up painting uh, these guys and just leaving like this. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, leaving this little section open. Maybe just tape over that and then paint the whole thing uh, black or something. Got the bulkhead down there. Got a pretty sizable lid on top. Um, I think this was the second place that I had looked at for water storage tanks um, and that's the brand on, on the side there that's not the company that I bought it from that's just a brand of tank but I bought two of them one's gonna be for RO water one's gonna be for salt water um, even though that as you know a youtuber and a hobbyist I've always recommended to folks that they have their own RO DI systems filter their own water we are going to have some available at the store, but I'm going to try to use it as a teaching moment as much as I can uh, to promote folks uh, to purchase their own filter filtration systems and uh, understand, you know, the work that goes into it. And then obviously know exactly what they're putting into their aquarium. This right here is waste cuts. Uh, lumber is insane right now guys I've paid so much money building stuff and then all this waste that I got here um, a lot of this just sits here until you know I well, there's a little something comes up and I need to build something real quick or I need you know a length of whatever pretty much anything with, with the exception of these three pieces anything under a foot you know I, I got some scraps sitting here um, but 
I'm going to tell you right now, if you are building a house or a garage or a shed, I feel sorry for you uh, right now because just in the time that I've started this project, two by four studs have gone up $1.50. And I've been working on this for, what, three months now, two months. So um, incredibly expensive. That's just a pile of wasted money there. And then I got some other scraps going on. Uh, this we're going to talk about tomorrow. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be setting up a little rack system here in the back room. This back room, I really don't care about what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of tore up a little bit, which was equally uh, as tore up as the front, but we've kind of gotten the front of the uh, building or the shop in the direction that I want. There's a couple of little things I still need to touch up, uh, but we're going to be taking this racking here. We're going to install it in the wall and we're going to start uh, aquaculturing some live food here. Uh, some doors that I'm going to be installing, waiting on a permit for that. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the back room. This is my pile of crap from my house right there. Got some sawdust selling it for 10 bucks a gram if you're interested. Uh, but for the most part, uh, this has been my little wood shop. And uh, I've only injured myself once in here. So got a uh, nail in the foot. But, you know, tetanus shot will fix that. But uh, yeah, guys, tomorrow we're going to work on the aquaculture uh, stand that we're going to put together here. We're going to start culturing some uh, phytoplankton. And uh, I, got a, I got some ideas. It's going to be kind of very similar to what I've done in the past, starting out. And then hopefully um, down the road kind of get a little bit more commercial. Uh, but we're going to offer some live food here at the shop. And uh, we're going to start off with culturing phytoplankton. So that's what we're going to talk about in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. If you're still here, you're awesome. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this one, hit that like button. And I'll see you tomorrow in a brand new video.